the latest Gen Z innovation for comfort on flights? Is it an ergonomic eureka or a health horror? To give this very important decision the attention it deserves, we need to consider a few choices. The first is the blood flow to the leg. You see, we get our blood that's oxygenated through our arteries, which then delivers all the oxygen and the good juicy nutrients to all of our tissues so we can move up and down and put our dancing shoes on. Once our muscles are done doing their things, they send all their waste products back up like the carbon dioxide to the lungs where you can breathe it out. Now, this system is a much more low pressure compressible system than your arteries because it's much further away from your heart. What that means is movement of the legs actually helps the blood flow back up to your heart and stops the blood pooling, which could cause nasty consequences. Of course, it's difficult to do that while your legs are in bondage, increasing the risk of a DVT even more. Keep your legs free and moving on a plane and you can even